are you changing careers? Um, so I was doing psychology first and then I've done my bachelor's in psychology. Then I went into a different field and I was excelling in it. But there was something missing always and I was like I have to go back. So yeah, then I came back into clinical world. What did you enjoy about London? I would say I I just loved the commute. I mean, I, it was really long, but I loved that I could just get anywhere and everywhere. You know, there was always like, oh, if, if the bus doesn't go, the train is going, the train doesn't go, the tube is going. It was just something. I love that. I love that in London is full of different nationalities. So I got to know so many people, different foods, different clothing. It's just like, you know, you're like in a global village. That's what London is. So the whole vibe, it's wonderful. I love it. And what did you do in the daytime whilst you were studying at Birkbeck? I would, uh, the days I was over here, we would, you know, study, take lectures, then we would chill in the cafe or uh, just go study in the library. And the days that were off, I would go do volunteering. I was volunteering in St. Pancras Hospital. So it was like, you know, I was, I was busy all the time. How has Birkbeck changed your life? Definitely. I can see the world differently now. I was back in Pakistan and I was, you know, in my own bubble. So Burbank has burst my purple bubble and I'm just, you know, out in the world now and I think I'm more confident, I can communicate better and I can work as a team with a lot of different people with belonging to different backgrounds. That's it. And what do you hope to do, to do with your career now? Um, I'm actually looking for jobs in uh, mental health. So I'm looking towards assistant psychologist or I'm looking towards uh, doing a support worker, social worker, like working in NGOs and working for, um, you know, all these policies and everything. So I'm just looking into things, yeah.